Actually, I'll start with sort of the history of orchids because it was the Victorians that were first interested in orchids. And they actually sent out um, voyages and orchid explorers to go through the jungle and get orchids for them. And unfortunately, a lot of those orchids were destroyed in shipment. And then, of course, when they tried to grow them in their conservatories, which were heated by wood, um, it's not a very clean burning fuel. So those orchids would also die. So of course, if they had a surviving orchid, it would be very pricey, right? So we think of orchids, I think that was the mystique and the fascination with orchids is they're from the jungle. We send out these orchid hunters, they bring back orchids, um, and then they're, ex they're extremely expensive and they're for the elite, right? Well, over the years with tissue culture, we've now been able to um, you know, provide orchids at a much, much more reasonable price. So people start getting interested in orchids. You see an orchid and you go, well, you know, this is an orchid, but this is an orchid and that's an orchid and they all look so completely different. Right? Um, that's, I think, part of the fascination and the intrigue with orchids because, you know, if you look at a rose, and I love roses, but um, if you look at a rose, one rose, other than color, possibly, one rose looks pretty much the same as the next rose or one lily the same as the next or daffodils, right? But orchids are all completely different. You know, you can get orchids that look like spiders, orchids that look like moths, orchids that look like, you know, monkey face, right? So there's so many different orchids and the flowers are all different, which becomes part of the fascination.